Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So this is a very special episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop today for me. There are several things I want to share with you, but I just kind of wanted to tell you, dolls, that today, when this video airs, today's my birthday. And I am really so excited to be celebrating uh Celebrating right now with the channel and just with you dolls. You all have been so awesome and so kind and sweet to me over my time here on YouTube. And I just want you to know just how grateful I am. Uh, I'm grateful for those of you who watch and have subscribed. And I'm grateful for those of you who watch regularly and you haven't subscribed. And all of that adds into what really makes this channel so great. I just really love the community we're building here. I just really love um, how we interact, how we get to talk and share about miniatures. I love being able to interact with people who love miniatures just as much as I do. And I love sharing with you all the things that I've learned over the years so that you can make your miniature scenes and doll houses wonderful and make them to suit your taste, learning the things that I'm showing you through the different techniques that I share here on this channel. So I just want you all to know how much you mean to me, how much I appreciate each and every one of you. And again, I'm so grateful to be celebrating today on my birthday here on the channel. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and show you the um, the publication. Uh, I've received it. Actually, it was for the May and June issue of the Miniature Gazette, and it's published by the name uh, organization, the National Association of Miniature Enthusiasts, and I was featured in that magazine. So many of you all have reached out to me and let me know that you all have the publication, and some of you all I know um, joined names so you could get the publication. So I want to just say thank you to each and every one of you. And I've also um, been to my post office box. And again, it was full of cards and letters and wonderful things. And I just, <laughs> sometimes I get I just overwhelmed just how kind and wonderful just this community is. And I just want you to know how grateful I truly am. I have a special um, shout out to one of my um, subscribers that doesn't want to be mentioned on the channel, but I just want you to know that what you do and the things that you send to me are so kind and so awesome. I just, um, I just appreciate you so much. And also to a very special subscriber by the name of Renee, she sent me a lovely gift that I will be showing you in this video. Um, but you guys are great and I appreciate you so much. Renee, um, I don't know what happened. The package you sent it to me in that had your address because I wanted to thank you personally. Some kind of way the box got thrown away. So if you could reach out to me through email, that would really be awesome because I definitely um, just want to um, let you know how much I appreciate what you sent. And also I have another uh, special acknowledgement for um, to Sienna Flower, you are so kind. You um, sent me a super thanks, and I appreciate it so much. And when I, my channel became eligible for super thanks, so many of you all have responded to that and um, supported my channel in a very tangible way, and I do appreciate it. And I want you to know, Sienna Flower, I received your gift, and I thank you so, so, so much. Some of my... Um, uh, comments had been deleted at one time and they came up late. So I didn't get to acknowledge it when it was e originally sent, but I do want you to know that I did receive it and I appreciate you so much for your kindness and your uh, generosity and support of me here on this channel. So thank you so, so, so much. So let's go ahead and get to the part of the video so I can show you all what I um, got in my post office box and show you the article in the the miniature gazette and i'm i'm just overflowing right now Dal. so let me just stop talking and get to the part of the video that is featured today thank you so much for your love your kindness your support of the channel the growth of the channel and together we're going to continue to make this a great 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 channel thank you so dolls, these are the wonderful things that I received 
today that were in my post office box. This is a beautiful handmade customized card from one of you lovely dolls. She put all these beautiful pictures of miniatures on the outside of a card, a handmade card, a handwritten card, so thoughtful and so just generous um, with her kind words. And it was really, really sweet because she included an article about a lady named Pearl, who is also a doll maker. And this article was published in 1998. And dolls, the crazy part about this article is that I read it back in 1998 and it inspired me to start trying to make my own dollhouse dolls. And the article talks about how the lady uh, makes dolls to create scenes based on her memories from her childhood. And it's just a beautiful, heartwarming story. And it just touched me so much that one of you dolls would read this article and associate me with such a wonderful doll maker and artist. It just warmed my heart. And it really was a blessing to me to read it because it really personified where I am in my journey. And it was so touching and it was so fitting because she sent it to me this month when I was featured in the issue of the Miniature Gazette. And to top it all off, she sent me her personal copy of the Miniature Gazette magazine so that I would have a spare issue. So I'm actually going to give it to my daughter. And I, I'm trying not to cry because it really touched me so much to see this and just to see her kindness and generosity. You know, I, I just have no words for how I'm feeling right now. This is definitely um, a time of celebration for me here on the channel and with you dolls and just for you all to reach out to me and to encourage me in my journey. It means so much. So here's the actual article here in the Miniature Gazette about Little Gretchen's workshop and my journey to miniatures. There's a picture of me and my dad and they allowed me the opportunity to tell my story about how I came to love collecting and making miniatures. Yeah, this just really meant so, so much. So I'm glad to be able to share this with you dolls. She wrote me a beautiful um, handwritten card and I'll keep that to myself because it was so touching and I don't want to be crying on screen. Now this is my other box that I received from Renee and Renee, please do reach out to me. Renee sent me a lovely gift and she wrote me a letter on the side of the box. Now I actually saved the letter on the side of the box but then I set the box to the side and it was accidentally thrown away. So I really am regretting that because I want to send you a thank you card. But let me show you dolls what she sent me. Now, you know, I'm working on the dress shop dollhouse and she sent me this lovely hat and hat stand in a beautiful hat box. And these are replicas of hats in fashion in the 1700s and 1800s and let me just show you what it is it's so beautiful now this is the actual hat stand it's made of wood and she also included these beautiful papers they're decorative papers they're so delicate and small but they're so pretty now she works in a really small scale like which is 144 scale so pieces like this would be like wall-to-wall -wall carpet <laughs> Dolls, just look how beautiful these papers are. They're absolutely lovely. I could actually use them as gift wrap for the dress shop. Now look at that hat stand. The wood is so finely finished and this is the hat. I'm trying to be really careful to remove it gently from the hat box. Now dolls, this is an official item and this is the name of the manufacturer. It's called Pipkin and Bonnet, and she included the Certificate of Authenticity. And it's just so precious because it's such a beautiful hat. And the little booklet just gives you some details about the bonnet and when it was in fashion. Now here I'm just giving you dolls a quick glance at the letter she wrote me on the side of the box, but I keep that to myself. But here it is. I just wanted to show you the bonnet on the hat stand. It's so lovely, and again, it's so fitting because I'm working on the dress shop with all the hats and the other lovely lady accessories like purses and perfume. Renee, thank you very much. This is just such a wonderful gift and I'm definitely going to display it proudly 
on my mantle in my living room. It is so special to me. I appreciate it so much. Now here's the little booklet that came with the bonnet and it gives information on several different hats that were made in this series. And although there are several beautiful hats, here's my hat and it's called the Glengarry from 1817. All of these are just so very lovely and they're so reminiscent of hats the ladies would wear to church when I was a child and we called them convention hats. Mm -hmm. So let me set this aside safely and allow you dolls to see what's happening among the dolls. So back at the dress shop, Big Daddy and Alvarez are working on the beadboard in the kitchen. Now here's Sadi in the main area of the dress shop and he works really well with wood and he's ready to get started on improving the look of these walls in the dress shop showroom. The older men are really concerned about the walls, but Sadi is confident he can make them look beautiful. So here's Uncle Barley and Uncle Benny and they finished the windows that go on the third floor but when they tried to take them up to the third floor, there's no stairs. So now they're going to have to move the windows back into the other room until the stairs are installed. Now this is the hallway. I have chosen the wallpaper for the hallway and I do have a set of stairs for the first floor. So let me go ahead and get that second set of stairs in here so that they can take the windows up and start working on finishing the addition. Now, Albert just finished the wallpaper in the actual sewing room. Saudi's trying to move the ladder so he can get to work on those walls downstairs. But here's a quick glance of the sewing room with the wallpaper and floor installed. Big Daddy and Uncle Benny are really impressed with Saudi's work ethic and his skills. He's already begun to add the wood paneling and he's really doing a great job. Over to the side, Pop is advising Elbert about how to trim out the window frame around the window after Sadi gets done with the wall. The older men are already considering Sadi on another house project. Big Daddy told Sadi that he had a bright future ahead of him with skills like that and there'd be plenty of work for him when this project ends. Sadi was feeling real good about what Big Daddy had said to him and he just began to gaze out the window and suddenly he realized he was being watched. Sadi was so excited to see that Marguerite was watching him. Sadi just wishes things were different so he'd just have an opportunity to talk to her for just a little while face to face. Even though they can't talk, her smile told him everything he needed to know. After everyone got back to the rooming house, Uncle Benny and Uncle Barley were talking. And Uncle Benny told Uncle Barley that while they were in town taking care of business, they sent word to Marguerite's father to get consent for Sadi to court her. 